Today, I've got one of my favorite things to review, a new electric bike. I genuinely think small electric vehicles are the future of last mile transportation. I love to see what the tech is doing, and it's always fun to ride around and show you my city. Today, I am looking at the Nubility B14. It's quite a bit smaller than the Lanka laces I reviewed last time, but should be just as powerful since it also has a 400 watt motor. It weighs 26.5 kg and the manufacturer claims a maximum 120 kg peg load and a maximum 100 km range. Let's unbox it and take a look! This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel.
Right? Yes. I drive like a little old lady. I have a bike accident when I was a kid, so I've been overly cautious on bikes ever since. But I get where I'm going. The Nubility B14 goes up to 25 km an hour with no problem. The snowless is mine, not the bike. As you can see, I add a mirror and a phone mount. It's a good idea for safety. Please keep in mind, I got this bike as a review unit from gogobest.com. But I have not been otherwise paid or compensated to review it. And if the day ever comes, I'm ready to sell out and compromise my integrity. It's going to cost a whole lot more than an e-bike. The link is in the description. Okay, pros and cons. First, the cons. Most, most bikes this size are half as powerful and with great power comes some additional weight. I'm 160 centimeters tall and weigh 48 kilograms right now. Yes, I'm getting a little pudgy. I'm very happy with that. Thank you. It means I am a successful businesswoman, get to eat all my favorite foods. The bike weighs 26 kilograms or a bit over half of what I do. So it would be a little awkward carrying up and down stairs or lifting in and out of a car on my own. I also found the hinge very hard to use. It's quite stiff, but a little oil and use might help. This wasn't really much of an issue though. If you are a little larger or a little stronger than me, no problem at all. Like most e-bike this size, the B14 only has one gear. So pedaling is really for an assist or level ground, not something you want to use alone on hills and such. Honestly, the only real issue I have is it's a little heavy for me to lift. Pros. It's almost twice as powerful as most e-bikes this size. That means it might not be legal in your city. It also means that it probably won't be noticed in your city because it looks like a typical much lower power bike kind of stealth mode. Up to you to judge that risk, I guess. I should tell you to comply with local laws or something. So um, do that. It is super easy to use, much, much better interface than the Lanke Leisi. The wheels and suspension worked great over bumps and curves. Certainly a good size I think I look for in the future for e-bikes since it's much easier for me to get in and out of the house, in elevators, and I'm not going up and down mountains or anything. So I don't think there's a need to go much larger. Final verdict, I like it. I like it a lot. This is a really practical city bike for errands and commuting. It's not something you'd want to spend eight hours on doing deliveries. But one or two hours each way, weekend sightseeing with some breaks, perfect. It fits in elevators, the trunk of a car, and small apartments. If you are over 50 kilograms or under about 100 kilograms, it will be perfect. I would not suggest it for young teenagers or children smaller than I am. It's a little too powerful for safety. That's it for today. Many thanks to gogobest.com for supplying this review unit. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.